is in the pamphlet of uh, Erika. So if you have ever listened to any presentation by Erika, so you have mentioned it. So the title, the title of my presentation is Improve the Chef Life of Refractory Low Cement Customers by using a novel dispersant system. As most of you know, for refractory customers, there are two properties that are very important. One is flowability, and the one is the same time. But we know that aging of the refractory premises occurs for many customers and for many users. And normally we think this aging is because of the interaction between cement and uh, cement and humidity. As a consequence, then you get the refractory customer premixes very long saving time or loss of the flow. And in the worst case, then the materials are completely destroyed. You cannot use it. So in order to solve this problem or to build these problems, there are two different strategies have been developed to deal with cementation. One is to produce a new cement, which is less prone to aging in the set, or to be improve packing by use plastic packing, or vacuum packing, or drums, and so on, or use both. The objective of this paper is to investigate the aging mechanisms and also try to find potential solutions to improve the chef life. So here we see the two systems. One is bauxite based low cement caspers. Another one is silicon carbide based low cement caspers. Of both recipe is conventional available product where the carbon is used as a dispersant. So normally we, to run this test, we dry mix 25 kilos of samples and place them in closed, pla closed plastic lined paper bags. Then we store them in different conditions. So one condition is what we call climate humidity. Then it's the relative humidity is about 70 to 80 percent at 20 degrees. This means this condition, storage condition is controlled. The another condition is at the warehouse at Norway. In Norway, there is a wide temperature and humidity. And also we start, we, we try to pack the raw materials individually at the warehouse in Norway. Just try to understand the age mechanisms. For the test of frequency, we made the fresh premixes and also measure the flow and the saving time of being stored for one month, three months, six months, or some of them for 12 months. It depends on the program. Each time we just take 3.5 kilograms of material from the paper bags and test it. So we use a standard Elkan refractive test procedure. We use a whole part mixer and use the STM small cone to measure the flow ability. Then we measure the same flow and we call it as a percentage. For the second time, then we measured the temperature development over time. If you look at this, the first peak, when the temperature is rise for two degrees, we record it as a time to the working time. And if the temperature reach the maximum temperature, it, which is corresponding to the <coughs> demolding time. So we call it TPM and TPS. So first we want to know how the storage conditions influences the shelf life. So here again I used the bauxite low cement customers in which 80% of microsilica is used and 4% of cement. Then for this premix, mixes we stored in three different conditions. So one is the climate room, which is very harsh condition, and one is the warehouse, and also the raw materials individual packed in the warehouse. This is fresh materials, and also here is three months. If you look at the result for three months, 
The blue corner is the materials were stored in the climate room. Then after three months, the, the flow drops 50%. And if you look at after 12 months, then it's dropped a lot. But for the warehouse, it dropped as well. But what surprised us is when the raw materials were individual packed, after 12 months, the safe flow is kept quite well. As I mentioned before, flowability is one thing, also the materials has to set. So in terms of a certain time, fresh materials is okay by four and a half, five hours, one month is okay. But when you look at after three months, the blue color is in the climate room. Then after three days, the material is still soft. This means that in this case, the material is destroyed. And uh, if the materials stored in the warehouse is the red, red corner here, you can see after six months, the second time gets extended, but it's still set after one day. So it means here just give some indications. The so relative humidity is of the storage condition and the interaction between different components are important for the chef life. So in order to understand the interaction, so we designed another experiment. So here we use a silicon carbide based low cement cluster. You need 10% microsilica and 6% low cement were used. So here we make we made different pre-mixes. One is the full mixes, which is which means all the ingredients are dry and mixed. And the why the premise without microsilica, it means that microsilica was kept individually in the paper bag. Similarly, also premix without cement and the premix without additivities. So for those premix which, which was incomplete, when we test it, we add the missing component again. And for this test, we stored the materials in the climate room for nine months. Here I just want to mention it. So three months in the climate room, it should have the same aging effect as six or 12 months in the warehouse. So when we look at the three flow again, this is the four mixes, and the, the red bar is at the fresh materials, and the blue bar is after nine months in the very harsh conditions. For all this one, what surprised us is when the activities were kept individually, the safe flow is still okay, and when the microsilica was kept separately, and the safe flow is okay. The worst case is when the cement was kept separately, we see the lowest flow. What does this mean? We thought this is because of the aging cement give a quick set. Are the such is true or not? Let's look at the, the setting time. When we look at the setting time, for full mixes, after nine months, of course, it's destroyed. But after three days, it doesn't set. But again, for this no microsilica, it's also the same case. It doesn't set. But for the, when the cement was separate, kept, then the setting time is very fast. So this confirmed that aging cement give fresh scent. And also what's amazing here is when the additives were separately kept. So the saving time get extended, but it's still reasonable. After one day it gets hard and you can use it in a way. So based on this, that just give some also gives the customer some indication if you want to improve your chef life or the premixes, one way is to keep the additives separated from the matrix. And also the many customers actually have done this. So from this study, we thought the key parameters affecting the chef life is humidity. This is the most this is the kingdom, and then it's cement and additives, especially the interaction between cement and additives. 
So based on this, how to improve the shelf life? One way, of course, the simplest way is to keep the, the humidity away. But in India, probably it's very difficult. And also to keep, the another way to keep the additives from reacting with the cementing by different ways. Or by physically separation, or by surface coating, either on the cement or on additives. Or use a selecting a, or use of selecting additives that do not react with the cement. Here is what I'm going to present actually. So here I just try to introduce a new additive package, which is called Sax and Sax Quick. Sax is a dispersant and Sax Quick is accelerate or used for customers or organic mixes. And so this new active package is based on the understanding of microsilica and is used microsilica as a carrying materials. If we combine these two together, then it provides us the flexibility to control the same time accurately. So now I want to give you some examples. So first I started with a bauxite based low cement clusters. Here is 6% of microsilicon, and of course then carbon is used as a, a reference. So when the carbon is replaced by subs and subs quick, how is the performance and what is the shape like? So here I want to tell you. And also those three mixes stored in both the warehouse and also in the climate room for six months. When we look at the set flow development over the storage time, the blue bar is size and size quick. The red one is calcium. When those mixes were placed in the warehouse, you can see the changes. Over time, the flow decay happens in both cases. But if you look at the material stored in the climate room, it's the similar trends, but the premix with the calcium, the flow decay is much faster. So this gives us some indication. Substitution of the calcium with the sub and sub quick could slow down the flow decay. But if we look at more carefully about the set flow, just compare the sub and the calcium, you could see when you use sub and sub quick, the set flow is improved by 30 to 40 percent. So this is a lot. And then if we look at another parameter, the setting time. This is the premixes were kept in the warehouse. Of course, in both cases, the setting time gets extended, but the extended speed is different. The blue bar is the dispersant is South and South Quick, they are much slowly, slower than the one with calcium. If we look at the same time of those mixes which were kept in the climate room, it means that the relative humidity is 70 to 80 percent. I just repeated it. So here you could see after three months, the samples with South and South Quick is still okay. They use at, at least to the demote it after one day. And, but for the carbon, it's completely destroyed. So again, this one just shows us substitution of the carbon with service that's quick improves the shelf life. So this is one system and one example. I will give you another example just to go a little quicker because the limited of time. So here again, the silicon carbide based low cement with the sub sub quick installed in the climate room. This means just to try to accelerate the aging process and to see the effect. Of course, the reference is with the carbon and then the cells and the cells quick. If we look at the set flow, again, over time, one month, the blue blood, the, the blue color and the red color, the blue color is fresh materials, the red one is one month, the green one is three months. The same trend in both systems. 
But the gain here, you can see, for the same flow, if you use cells, it's about 120%, but you use Kelvin, it's 92. You can see the big improvement of in safe flow. So this is confirmed with before. But if we look at the second time, Kelvin after three months, then the materials is completely destroyed. It can, it's not the same after three days. But for you, the last two samples, with either with the salts or the combination of the salts are quick, after three months, so the materials, the same time get extended, but the material is still used. So it means that shelf life has been improved when carbon is replaced by new activity systems, salts and salts quick. Based on the, this result, I would like to draw a conclusion. Aging of the refractory low cement clusters is mainly attributed to the hydration of the cement and the humidity is uh, a very important factor. With the common phosphate dispersant, reactions between the dispersant and the cement, maybe also other fines, are very important. If both cases are cursed, uh, occurred in the systems, so this may result in a very, very long saving time after storage, or maybe the material is in the worst case, is completely destroyed. So by introducing the lower, the new dispersal system, south and south quick, not only needed to improve the shelf life, but also to a 30 or 40 percent of better flow for the test cast systems. In the end, I would like to thank all the people for our lab technician who carried about this work and for my boss, Dr. Ariana, who is here for the support for all this work. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Tang. Uh, any quick questions? With this new aggregate, what will be the cost of the total cluster? When we decided this dispersant is based on cost performance. For the true price, please go to our booth. Our salespeople will talk to you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Pardon? I could show you some results. I guess if we are going into details, we should uh, sit for, down and uh, yeah. discuss it. Yeah, for the hot modulus of a rupture, we measured it at a higher temperature, for example, 1200 degrees. When sound and sound quick was used, it gave us a little bit hot modulus of rupture. Okay, one more. Yes, sir. What is the mechanism? By which you are increasing the self life of the product? The mechanism, we are still trying to understand it. But because this dispersant is based on the understanding of microsilica, then we use microsilica as a carrying materials. In that case, probably the interaction between the dispersant and the cement is separated or is it's physically separated a little bit. I think that this is the most mechanism. Or this dispersion is less than prone to react with cement, in a way. If it is making a coating on the cement particle... No, this is the only way it's a coating on the dispersion, actually. But then how your flow property is also improving? We have a special dispersion in this as well. This is a dispersion. So that's why it's both, both flowability and also the shape life is improved. This is a secret. I cannot tell you. Thank you, Dr. Hong. I'm sure that uh, this is uh, 